Haiti is the first developing nation in which antiretroviral drugs will be somewhat widely distributed. These so-called AIDS cocktail drugs have allowed patients in Western countries to lead almost normal lives. But they've long been considered just too expensive and not very feasible in poverty-stricken countries. Dr. Paul Farmer has long campaigned to change that thinking. One of the biggest set of myths we're dealing about are about therapy for HIV. HIV. It can't be done in a place like this. Um, you know, people don't have other rights. They don't have a, con a concept of time. They don't have wristwatches. The medications have to be refrigerated. It's not cost effective. Uh, you know, it's not it's anything you could ever um, initiate in a, in a really poor country. For 20 years, Dr. Farmer has divided his time between Harvard Medical School and the Zanme La Sante, or Partners in Health Project, he founded in Haiti's remote central plateau. Since the late 90s, when prices for some AIDS drugs began to decline, Partners in Health has provided antiviral medications to as many patients as it can. On a limited budget, the drugs are funded mostly by private donations, and like all services here, free to patients, most of whom could not afford them anyway. I consider myself a second Lazarus. 41-year-old Sancour Francois was brought in three years ago, so close to death his family had purchased a coffin. With drug therapy, he quickly recovered and has had almost no health problems. Life is still a struggle. Francois cannot find employment. His wife and two daughters moved temporarily to Port-au-Prince to find work. But he's thankful for the chance to see his children grow up. After God, I am most thankful to Dr. Paul. My weight was 95 pounds. I'm up to 142 now. The medications have done so much for me. In Haiti, certainly those in Port-au-Prince knew these medicines existed, but their price was so exaggerated. But here, patients don't pay anything for the medications. One unanticipated benefit of bringing antiretroviral therapy to rural Haiti is that many more people are coming into clinics to be tested for the AIDS virus. For the first time, doctors say, people have been able to witness AIDS patients, people dying of AIDS, get better. And suddenly you have treatment and a lot more people want to be screened, you're going to get a lot more people who are negative, who are seronegative, that is, they don't have HIV, and that's where you can start making interventions to keep them from getting HIV. There are other benefits as well, even for those who don't receive the limited supply of drugs. They can be treated for opportunistic infections, which kill thousands of AIDS patients in poor countries. Tuberculosis is rampant in Haiti, for example, yet easily treated for just a few cents per patient. 